Hello and welcome to our lesson on writing probabilities as fractions. Before we begin, we need to understand the notation for probability. The probability of an event is equal to the desired outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes possible. So if we have a look at the probability of a green ball from this container, the probability of a green, the green is the event, and there are 10 balls in the container, so it is divided by 10. The number of desired outcomes is 3, because there are 3 green balls. So the probability of choosing a green ball from this container is three tenths. The probability of a red or a green. So we'll look at the probability of a red, which is three out of ten. And in probability, the word or means add. So we've got three out of ten for red, and we know there are three out of ten for green. So in total, we have 6 out of 10. We can count these. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 2. So the probability of a red or a green is 3 fifths. The probability of choosing a purple ball at random well, the number of desired outcomes now is zero because there are no purple balls. There are still 10 total possible outcomes. So the probability is zero. And so this means it is impossible to choose a purple ball. And the next one, the probability of a not blue ball. Well, we know it is certain we will pick a ball which is 10 out of 10. The number of blue balls, there are two blue balls. So if we have all of them, take away the two blue, this is eight tenths. And again, we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by two. So four fifths. The probability of not picking a blue ball is four fifths. Okay, let's try some more questions. A token is spun so it lands randomly on the checkered grid. Write the probability of a token landing on the following. Do you want to try and work out the probability of A, B, C and D by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So the probability of an even number. Well, the total number of possible outcomes is 16 and eight of them are even. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by eight. So we have one over two, which is one half. The probability of picking a number greater than 10. There are still 16 possible outcomes and the numbers greater than 10 are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16, which is six outcomes in total, which is six desired outcomes. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by two. So we have three eighths. Question C, the probability of a black or a six. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which are black, plus the one that is six. So that is nine out of 12, which can be simplified by dividing both by three. So that is three quarters. And the last one, the probability of a multiple of three. 
are red. The multiples of 3 include 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15, plus the red, which are 1, 8, 11, 14, and 16, which include 10 desired outcomes in total. So 10 out of the 16 which are possible, we can simplify an extraction by dividing both by 2. So we have 5 eighths. So a probability of a multiple of 3 or a red is 5 eighths. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.